If the tide came up with sea level rise, even you know, 0.1, 0.2 of a meter here, we'd wipe out all the mangroves you can see along here, and you know, the birds, uh, the fish, the crabs, everything that then survives off that is gone. So do we care about that? Estuaries are our tidal rivers. And so they are the places that people are most familiar with in terms of the waterways around them. What people are most concerned about with climate change typically is, what does it mean for me? If you look up and down on the coast, most of us are actually living in and around these. And this is because of all the important services that they provide to us. Transport, shipping, commercial fishing, many of the species like oysters are actually filtering out um, particles from the water and ha um, helping to maintain that really clean water environment that we like to swim and play in. Our estuaries are under pressure both from the people and from the environment. Climate change and many of the problems that go along with it are going to be one of the greatest threats to our marine environments in the next 20 to 50 years. They are in a high risk and, and they are important ecosystems that we need to take care of. So water temperatures have gone up, we can measure that, we're observing that. And how is that going to change in 50 or 100 years, you know, is that system going to get to a state where actually a lot of the things that live there and make it the system that we like are not going to be there anymore. So the government's coastal node put together a team that is going through the existing data and attempting to pull together all the information that we can. What we've done in this project is really take all this scientific knowledge that we gained into sort of an easy step-by-step -step, um, framework for how can I assess the risk at my local estuary or river, the coastal councils, the estuary manager, the ecological consultant, they need to understand what the risks are so that then they can make management decisions and also policy decisions to manage these systems better now and into the future. So we're really looking at the risks and what those risks mean to the people and can we do something to adapt around those risks. You know, Sydney and Melbourne and Brisbane and Perth and Adelaide, they're all really based on estuaries. And so they're all places where we're going to be impacted. So it's about protecting our way of life.